and gentlemen and welcome to the School of Science. My name is Luke and this is the Everton Stadium update for the 13th of the 1st, 2024. Now, as we go over the site today, there is a lot of things that have been going on around the site. Um, there's going to be a couple of little mentions here and there. And just a little bit of an alteration. So we're going to try something that ever so slightly different. So the first panel, the first pan over is going to be solely east stands and the second one's going to be the solely the fan plaza it's just a small switch up but i think it might just help things along a little bit but yeah as we go over the east stand today you can see on the front by the shop entrance there is some more exterior cladding and anzai's panels the interesting thing is about these very few panels across the stands is they are very finely perforated they, they have tiny holes and at the right angle they do let light through on both sides i didn't realize this until today as you can see faint i could see faint lights behind the panels by the stairway on the southeast corner so that was something that was very really interesting for me to actually notice so the east stand itself now has got terracing, terracing as well on the ground level this is inside the stadium by the way um it is the last stand to actually receive it and obviously we know why because this was one of the main vehicle entrance points for vehicles to get in and out to actually get into the bowl of the stadium itself so that was one to mention real quick now one thing to note now while we go into the fan plaza you can actually see them right now it's between the crane the hydraulic tower and you can actually see a small yellow um tractor there those little them little slats there they are the barrel truss cladding so those are going to be getting put in in the very few weeks they're coming in in the upcoming weeks i would be willing to say next week if i was to take a shot in the dark now as we focus on the plaza itself we can actually see more of the stone blocks are getting put into place and we can see the rail tracks have been reinstalled as well you can actually see them doing it while i'm flying over so you can see them putting them in and the interesting thing is i'm gonna assume those blocks themselves are fairly heavy because no one's handballing them. They're all using specialized machinery to actually move them and everything. It's like a very weird suction-y sort of thing. So I'm, I'm, I'm peculiar to actually know how heavy each one of these individual blocks are because for them to be using that machinery, I'm going to make a safe assumption and say that they're well close to 100 kg per block. But yeah, I am very, very excited to see what Everton have in store for the actual plaza over the course of the upcoming weeks. It's going to be a very exciting few weeks to see that all developing and everything. Now, as we go over the south stands, I just want to point out, point out the sheer size and scale of the stadium. You can see small dots that are spread across the south stands roof itself. Now, just so you know, those, those spots or little dots that you can see across it, they're people. You can actually see people moving around in the video itself. I'm just looking at the video preview right now. And you can actually see them. They literally look like little black grains of rice on top of the stadium. And all I can say is when you, if you can actually get to the stadium itself in person, I implore you to do so as these videos honestly don't do any justice of the sheer size and magnitude of the stadium itself. It is well and truly magnificent. And also just a very quick one. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm actually going mad with all my years of doing these videos, but I've noticed the very base layer of the glass, not the glass on the um, actual stadium itself, but the mezzanine piece where your concession area is, so food, drink, all that lovely stuff. It's got a blue tint to it. I'm not sure whether it's always has a blue tint, but it does appear to actually have a blue tint. I might be potentially going mad. I noticed it when I was walking past. Uh, you can see it through the car park. And... I do think I might be going mad because I just, I've never seen the blue tint before and it was a little crazy one for me. But yeah, I will say it will actually have a lovely effect if the, when the sun bounces off the water onto that, it will actually have a very lovely mirror-like effect if that is the case. But yeah, as we go over now, we're going to go over to the, uh, the actual roof so you can see that into more of a scale so you can actually understand what I mean when I say that these people literally do look like ants on top of that roof. Also, just as a very quick note, um, the screen on the north stand just reminded me of this. So the giant screen that is getting getting more work done to it on the south stand. But from what Everton have provided, there is apparently 
1250 LED squares that are being installed to make them massive screens. These panels themselves are about one foot by one foot. I would say ever so slightly smaller than one foot. So if anyone wants to do the math and tell me how big the screens are, like a diagonal sort of ratio of how big they are, I would greatly appreciate it. And you will actually get a mention in the next video because I'm genuinely curious because for them to have so many on a screen, so 1,250 of those squares on just a simple screen, it's just something else altogether. And it is actually nice to see the uh, roof itself coming along the way it is. So right now on the west stand, leaking over into the south stand, you can actually see they've got the brackets getting put into place. So I'm assuming in the upcoming future, we're probably going to be seeing some of the uh, insulation stuff. So that is one thing I need to mention. Last week, I did mention the insulation on the north stand bleeding over into the east stand. And I said, I've never seen that before. That's that's a mistake on my end. I do apologize. It, there's that much going on around the stadium over the course of the past few months alone that things do sort of slip under my radar and things I've mentioned in previous videos do kind of escape me a bit. So apologies on that front. Now, as we go over to the West Stand, we they are looking to do a lot more over the course of the coming future. So they are working hard to get the stairway done and to push the work over to the North Stand as soon as they can. And it's it is they are working very tirelessly to get things done. I have actually tried something a little bit different here as well, you'll probably notice. So I did actually pan around and I am moving a bit quickly there. So I would like to in the future probably do that again, but get a little bit more refined. It, it was a weird transition points i was trying to work on it i'm not sure whether it pulled it off all too well but yeah it's it, it, the west stand has sort of slowed down a touch it as we know they have actually poured concrete into the base well the top layer here of the terrace that you can see so that's uh, more than likely the reason they haven't done too much over the course of the week is more for that to actually set and harden so they'll probably do the next stage in the middle section there where you can actually see the entrance point and from there, they'll probably start getting the stairway put into place. Now, as we go over to the roof of the West Stand, it is making decent progress. And we can actually see into the bowl of the stadium itself a little bit. So I'm just going to... While we have a little look over things, we just I just want to make a few little mentions. So you can actually see a few little dot points there. So don't worry, they, those aren't removed seats. Those are just seats that have been covered up. So as you know, these seats were all covered up and they've removed some of them. But you can see that the little white dots are all dots around the east stand itself. They're just the seats that are covered, so they haven't actually lost any seats. Now, granted, I, I'm still curious how they're going to go about the actual seating in the stadium itself. As you know, in the renders, as well as Goodson Park, we have got like white lettering dotted out through the seats and everything. So I'm curious how they go about that in this aspect so when the stadium itself is done are they going to put white the do the white letter and seating in the over the course of that so you'll have like everton efc 1878 and maybe in the prim super tower this will be one we'll have to keep an eye out for i would myself expect them to do so but i know a lot of people have probably have been saying over the course of it that they might just keep it all royal blue just because it'll be a lot more easier if ever they decide, you know what, we're going to use this for a concert, whether we're going to use this for UFC, boxing, a music event, or we're going to use it for the other games. It'll be easier for us to just keep it royal blue so that it's more neutral in the respect of whatever's going on inside the stadium. So when someone comes into the stadium, they enjoy it as a stadium expert instead of seeing that and going, oh yeah, Everton, this is Everton Stadium, this, I forgot about that. You know, if you get what I'm coming from. Right, I've just went on a mad tangent there. Apologies on that one. So we're going to talk about the North Stand now. In regards to the North Stand, there doesn't appear to be anything major going on right now. There is work being done in the media gantry in the northwest corner. And they are installing in the insulation, area, insulation layer on the northeast corner. But in regards to the North Stand as a whole... There does not to appear to be any areas that stand out. As I've said in previous videos, the North Stand seems to be the area where things get done first and then it spreads to the other stands later on. It's it's one of those sorts of things. You can actually, if you look right now, you can actually see the, uh, the Barrel Trust cladding just sitting there right underneath the crane itself. So 
I would will it be willing to say next week what we're going to see is the very northeast corner itself is going to start getting the cladding and it's going to move right across the east and over to the south from north to south. So that will be one we definitely need to keep an eye on for in the future. And the one thing that actually did surprise me though about the cladding itself, when you see it in the photos and everything, I thought it was like a massive chunk. But in all honesty, looking at it from what you can see down there, it's to scale of the stadium, it's very tiny. So when we get around there, you will actually note that the uh, with the way the shape of the barrel truss is, there's a little, like, what look like little clipper points across it. So they're pretty much going to be, you're going to have cladding points, shear and clipper points. So that's, that's one I'm really, really interested to see how they fit it. I know I say this with everything that goes on with this damn stadium, but I am very, very curious how they do all this because it's a whole different thing altogether. Like, this is one of the very first stadiums I've ever seen built from the ground up. And, well, this is probably one of the very first stadiums a lot of people have seen get built from the ground up. Now, granted, there have been the likes of the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, the Emirates, uh, Wembley, New Wembley. All those things were within my lifetime. But this is one that I've taken a very keen interest in because it's Everton. So, it is curious to see how they do a lot of this stuff. But in any case, guys, I would like to thank you all so much for watching. I do really appreciate your continued support. If you want to support me any further, we do have the cup of coffee tier here on the channel. This will give you early access to these sorts of videos and potentially match preview stuff in the coming future. But in any case, again, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. I hope you guys have a great week. Up the fucking toffees. Come on, you blues and all that jazz.